Good morning! Ladies and gentlemen, my background for today is a different one. I'm in our garden. Our garden is not yet uh, fully restored, but just try to have a video here this afternoon. My topic is about alkaline water benefits and risks. What is alkaline water? You may have heard various health claims about alkaline water. Some say it can help slow the aging process, regulate your body pH level, and prevent chronic diseases like cancer. But what exactly is alkaline water? And why all the hype? Okay, the alkaline in alkaline water refers to its pH level. The pH level is a number that measures how acidic or alkaline a substance is on a scale of 0 to 14. For example, something with a pH of 1 would be very acidic and something with a pH of 13 would be very alkaline. Alkaline water has a higher pH level than regular drinking water. Because of this, some advocates of alkaline water believe it can neutralize the acid in your body normal drinking water generally has a neutral typically has a ph of eight or nine however ph alone isn't enough to impart substantial alkalinity to water Alkaline water must also contain alkaline minerals and negative oxidation, reduction potential, or the ORP, which is the ability of water to act as a pro or antioxidant. The more negative the ROP, I ORP, the more negative the ORP value, the more antioxidizing it is. Does it really work? Alkaline water is somewhat controversial. Many health professionals say there isn't enough research to support the many health claims made by users and sellers. Differences in research findings may be related to the types of alkaline water studies. According to the Mayo Clinic, regular water is best for most people. They state that there is no scientific evidence that fully verifies the claims made by supporters of alkaline water. However, there are few studies that suggest alkaline water might be helpful for certain conditions. For example, a 2012 study found that the drinking naturally carbonated artesian well alkaline water with a pH of 8.8 .8 may help deactivate pepsin, the main enzyme that causes acid reflux. Another study suggested that drinking alkaline ionized water may have benefits for people with high blood pressure, diabetes, and high cholesterol. A recent study, a more recent study that included 100 people found a significant difference in whole blood viscosity after consuming high pH water compared to regular water after a strenuous workout. 
viscosity is the direct measurement of how efficient blood flows through the vessels. Those who consume high pH water reduced viscosity by 6.3% compared to 3.3% with standard purified drinking water. This means blood flowed more efficiently with alkaline water. This can increase oxygen delivery throughout the body. However, more research is needed beyond these small studies. In particular, research is needed to answer other claims made by alkaline water supporters. Despite the lack of proven scientific research, proponents of alkaline water still believe in its proposed health benefits. These include anti-aging properties, anti-aging properties, via liquid oxidants that absorb more quickly into the human body. Number two, colon cleansing properties. Number three, immune system support. Number four, hydration, skin health, and other detoxifying properties. Number five, weight loss. Number six, cancer resistance. They also argue that soft drinks, which are notoriously acidic, have very positive ORPs, leading to many health problems, while properly ionized and alkalinized waters have highly negative ORPs. Green tea is rich in antioxidants and has a slightly negative ORP. Positive side effects and risk of alkaline water. Although alkaline drinking water is considered safe, it may produce negative side effects. Some examples of negative side effects include the lowering of natural stomach acidity, which helps kill bacteria and expel other undesirable pathogens from entering your bloodstream. Additionally, an overall excess of alkalinity in the body may cause gastrointestinal issues and skin irritations. Too much alkalinity may also agitate the body's normal pH, leading to metabolic alkalosis, a condition that may produce the following symptoms. Nausea vomiting, hand tremors, muscle twisting, tinkling in the extremities of face, and confusion. Alkalosis can also cause a decrease in free calcium in the body, which can affect bone health. However, the most common cause of hypocalcemia isn't from drinking alkaline water but from having an underactive parathyroid gland. Natural or artificial? Water that's naturally alkaline occurs when water passes over rocks, like springs, and picks up minerals, which increases each alkaline level. However, many people who drink alkaline water from Buying alkaline water that's been through a chemical process called electrolysis. This technique uses a product called an ionizer to raise the pH of regular water. Makers of ionizers say that electricity is used to separate molecules in the water that are more acidic or more alkaline. The acidic water is then funneled out. Still, some doctors and researchers say these claims aren't backed by quality research. Water quality of the original source before ionization is crucial to ensuring contaminants aren't present in the drinking water. 
some scientists advise using reverse osmosis to adequately purify water before connecting an alkaline ionizer which can raise pH and add minerals okay that's all for today's video thank you so much for joining us again bye god bless and keep smiling